So let's go back to a, a little, tell a little more about the story about, about Charlie. Um, so this guy Charlie, I think his, his childhood um, was savage in what it, it, it was oblivious to, but, but he's not stifled by a small vocabulary as are many in his time, and he's exposed to a range of ideas, and he's trained in the tools to get more, like reading, he writes clearly, he questions. Um, uh, and, and like many people, Charlie picks his romantic partners that remind him of a parent, uh, but that are better for him than the parent, more compatible. Um, John! People often, people I think often don't know what they're, what they're uh, 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 escaping from their childhood. Uh, they just get sort of the outer leather layers. Like my mother, my mother wouldn't give me piano lessons because she was forced to take piano lessons. Even though I wanted to take piano lessons, she didn't get the part about being forced. <laughs> it's the problem, not the piano. Okay, let's try fixed child crying. Okay, so I'm, I, I'm walking down the street and I see this child is in anguish, is so upset. And the person that's caring for him, I think it was a babysitter, she really didn't know how to handle the situation. And it was so sad and, and, and the only thing that happened was this stupid guy stops and he says, you're a bad, you're bad, you're being bad. This kid is beside himself with, with, with misery. And the misery was like what children, I think, go through all the time, is especially young children, is that they feel responsible for everything in the world around them. They feel that they did, oh, it's my fault, it's my fault, it's my fault, my fault, my fault. So what he's saying in this tune, and I tried to make a song out of it, is, is you know, he's, it's his little cry of how he's, he says, I'm wrecking the world. I'm wrecking the world. <coughs> okay, could you? King, just went by yeah yeah um, so I mean I guess what I what I'm thinking about with Charlie or any of these characters I'm writing a series of characters now or characters I've written in the past is what was it like them what was it like for them to be a kid when their personalities are forming when you're figuring out how you could defend yourself from the world you know what you have to defend yourself against you know depending on who your caretakers are and uh, so, uh, so it, in order to understand these choices that you make later down the line, like I've been uncomfortable in my skin most of my life. I'm a little more comfortable in it now than, and, than I was. And my relationships in my 20s reflected this. And this is the time when most people get married and they pick mates and they have children. So before your childhood is over, you are passing it on to your children. Yeah, uh, bye.
Oh, oh, now, oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah.